So yeah, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year, happy new year. To hell with happy new year and new year's resolution. Man like me, you know, don't set no new year's resolution. It's bullshit. Even back in the day when men first started this JY's TV thing, innit? Go check for yourself, innit? Yeah? Go all the way to the beginning and about six videos in, man was talking about New Year's resolutions and the bullshit that comes with it. Man don't set no New Year's resolution. There's people on the 16th of December, they say, yeah, in the new year, I'm gonna uh, stop drinking or stop smoking. But on New Year's Eve, they're gonna get wasted and that. Nah, 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 nah. Just one last drink. Nah, 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 nah. That's bullshit. Whatever last drink you had, whether it was the day before or two days before, that was your last drink. All of this, oh, let me get one more drink in and that. You ain't going to adhere to that New Year's resolution. You ain't going to stick to it. People, ah, oh, uh, on the 1st of January or on the 3rd, when the gyms open up, I'm going to be in the gym. I'm going to be tearing it up. I remember one year, um, there's a gym in Edmonton, you know, the gym. After the new year, it was like the 5th of January or whatever, innit? Man's gone to the gym, innit? Yeah. Obviously, man was gymming it beforehand, innit? Boom. Gone to the gym uh, on the 5th of January, innit? The gym was ram-packed. You would have thought it was the only gym in North London. All these faces. All these people I've never seen before. Like, you know when there's like three men waiting for one machine and that? It was mad. About a month later, you see all them people there? Disappear, man. Then see them. When you go to the gym, if you're a gym person, when you go to the gym in a couple of days' time, whatever, innit, you can see all these new faces, innit? Set your fucking watch to it. You ain't gonna see none of them in a month's time. Ah, oh, in a new year, I'm gonna do this and do that. Start today. You see them people there that on the 16th of December, they said, yeah, on the 31st of December, I'm gonna make that my last drink. I'm gonna get wasted because on the 1st of January, I'm going to stop drinking or stop smoking. They're the same people that said that last year and that relapsing two, three months into it. Bullshit. Man don't set no New Year's resolution. Yeah, man, I start today. Yeah. So if you had a drink yesterday, that was your last drink. Not, oh, I'm going to make 31st of December my last drink. No, 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 no. You're going to relapse. You're going to relapse. But anyway, <laughs> enough of that rant. So um, it's about 1.30 in the morning. I must have checked my phone and I see a couple DMs on my Instagram, innit? Boom, open them up. Uh, there's one guy must have sent me a DM saying that he's been watching my thing from day. And um, he made reference to one video where I was talking about I was turning over 10 grand, but I was taking home 8 grand when I was working on construction site as an electrical supervisor, innit? True stories. Man's mentioned that bare times, innit? The infamous Holborn job. If you've been watching me long enough and that, innit? Then he's talking about properties and that. So I sent him a voice note. And then he's responding back with another voice note, whatever, innit? Now, he said to me in that voice note, yeah, a man wants to jump on a trade thing. Maybe not ne uh, necessarily electrical, but maybe, I don't know, plumbing or gas engineering he might have thought about. That's cool. But something worries me about what he sent me in that voice note, you know. He said to me, he's been going to university and he's dropped out twice. Now, I don't know if he's dropped out and then restarted the same course. So he's dropped out of the course twice or something like that. Or he started one course and then done another course or whatever in it. That worries me because I'm just thinking to myself, all right, cool. If my man starts this plumbing thing or this gas thing or this carpentry thing, it might be only a matter of time before he drops out of that. This is the thing man say in my videos all the time. Yeah, You need to find something and stick to it. I know, I get it. No one wants to work a job or enter a profession that they don't like, but you know what? Even me, man make money from my electrical thing, but I don't like it, you know. I don't like being an electrician. I mean, the job is fun, but man don't want to be an employee for the rest of my life. I don't even want to run my own business as, a, as an electrical tester or electrician. But you know what, sometimes yeah, you got to do things that you don't want. Life is not about just having fun all the time and that. Yeah, sometimes you got to do things you don't want. Sometimes you got to work some low-paying jobs, you know. I was saying to someone the other day, I know one girl, she used to work in Pizza Hut. I think she was on minimum wage, so £7 an hour at the time. You know now, this girl charges £65 per hour for, like, uh, dance tuition. She's a dance teacher. £65 per hour. Well, if she has eight clients, do the maths. Do the maths. 
Sometimes you gotta work shit jobs. It's got to be done. All them millionaires, billionaires you see, you think all of them just woke up one day and there was a millionaire, billionaire. They will tell you they were working some shit jobs. The position that he's in, I was in before. Because don't get it twisted. You might not have seen videos with me, with me speaking about this, but I've dropped out of the electrical course. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I dropped out of my electrical course, you know. I quit. I quit. Must have got myself mixed up in foolishness on the road and that. And I took an exam in the electrical uh, studies and I thought I failed. So I said, you know what, fuck this. Because I didn't feel confident that I'd done enough to pass because I was fucking about or whatever. But, you know, I got lucky and actually passed it. But I didn't find out for months. So I said, fuck college, I ain't even going. I want to do road. Yeah, me, the man that you perceive to be. And I am obviously super focused now. I even said, I'm going to drop out of college and do the road thing. No plans are really making no money, you know, but beef was more important than going to college, you know. Went to jail. When I was in jail, I got in contact with my, the, the prison got in contact with my um, electrical tutor and that. And he wrote into the prison to say, look, I can send him some stuff so he can study whilst he's in there. But I, I weren't going to be in jail for long enough. It wouldn't have been worth it. So anyway, for some reason... I didn't get all the textbooks and that. But anyway, boom, come out of jail, got an apprenticeship, bam, started the electrical course again. I stuck at it this time. Now, man's at a job, earning 300 pound a day, 360 a day. Come on, my man, man for, for start things and finish things. Even if you don't like it, work your nine to five, come home. If you want to start a YouTube channel or be building something on the side, it's got to be done, in it? But what's going to happen is, you know how much man I know, I say all the time, man, I'm 40, man, I'm 50 years old, man, tell me, oh, you know, when I was like, you know, 17, 18, 19 years old, you know, I started the electrical course now, um, I started the electrical course, you know, but I never finished it. I thought the exams were too hard or I just dropped out because I got bored or something like that. You know what man are doing now? Working in DPD, d doing deliveries, working for Hermes or subcontractor for Amazon, doing deliveries. Man, I work here for Sky, BT, Virgin, doing like an idiot, six months shadowing a man. You don't want to be doing that. Being a tradesman, listen, not all of us is cut out to be doctors and lawyers and that, but being a tradesman is fucking easy. It's not difficult. I told you already. A lot of them man there that man used to go to college with and work on construction, construction sites with, and them white boys in class that had ADHD. Them man, they can't sit still. Them man, they throw papers at the back of people's heads and that. If they can do it, you fucking can. You know how many man them on the ends who have actually gone out of their way to become electricians and that have friends that could have done the same thing as them, but they're fucking about. Man like Justin, one of the subscribers there, minute. He's a gas engineer. He knows how to do electrical work. And I know, I think he knows how to do um, air conditioning or refrigeration or whatever. And a man's got like three trays underneath his belt. But I bet you, man like Justin, Knows a lot of men from the ends who could have done the same thing as him, but they fucked about. So they're probably in jail or working some shit job and that. Man are postman and that. Man are doing delivery driving and that. Nonsense jobs. Jobs that they can't bring home and even, you know, like me with my thing, I can come home and do work in my own yard. I'm in a field where, you know what, I don't even have to just be an electrician. If I, if I show you my bathroom and that and the flat that I've done up and that, you'll all be impressed. A man's gone out of his way to fucking, you know, learn how to do other trades and that. Now, I'm seriously focusing on trying to just buy more properties and do them up. I have a passion for it, I find it fun. But when I first started as an electrician, I never found being an electrician fun, really. I mean, it was interesting learning something new, but it comes a time when you're like, this is dead blood. But... Sometimes you have to work a shit job first, you know. I was all earning five pounds per hour or something like that when I was an apprentice. Then, like I said, man's earning 300, 360 a day and that. But man, for study, and once you get to a certain level, keep elevating as well. So once you qualify and you become a, a qualified electrician or a plumber, then start to elevate. So if you become a qualified plumber, go and do your gas, become a heating engineer. And then take it from there. If you become an electrician, do your electrical course. Then go and do an inspection and testing and that. Then get your supervisor's card and that so you can be a supervisor. Maybe you need to go to uni and do a HNC electronic engineering. 
Sky's the limit, man. You don't have to work a look at ED at 30 grand a year, you know. You can be earning 60, 70 grand a year. It might be as a self-employed person, but money's money at the end of the day, innit? Yeah, you don't get no annual leave. Fuck annual leave. What do you need, what do you need holiday for? Yeah? Rest when the job is done. Yeah? Me, I'm a man, I'll put myself in a position where I can retire at about 40 years old. If I keep on track buying properties and that, I don't see why I won't be able to... Uh, Retire at 40 years old. That would be my fucking annual leave. Man, don't take annual leave like that, you know. No, 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 no. Man, work. Man, work. Man, not lazy. Well, yeah, if anyone's thinking about dropping out of course, just stick to it. It's, even if you don't really like it, just stick to it. Because you know what? There's money at the end of it, you know. Yeah, I know it's not all about money. Sometimes you need to be doing things that you like as well because it's good for your mental health. But in life, you're going to have to. You will. There's no way around it. You have to do things you don't like. In it. As long as it ain't degrading you as a human being and you're losing self-respect and that or people are losing respect for you, do it. It's got to be done. All the millionaires, all the business owners, they've all done things they didn't want to do in terms of employment. It's got to be done, man. So... My man, respect for sending me that Instagram DM and that and get me in it, yeah? Uh, inspire me to make this video because I know there's a lot of man in your position who keep dropping out, dropping out, dropping out. Nah, man, man for stop that, innit? Yeah, but respect for sending me the, the DM so, you know, inspire me to make this video. And that. Come on, no bear, man. I know, man. Man's there in college with man. One year, he's doing uh, sports science. Next year, he's doing carpentry and that. Now, he's probably fucking about probably fucking about i don't know i don't know i don't keep tabs on these people and that in it yeah but man see patterns and see trends and that i've seen people who are the same age as man i've seen man who's double man's age and that old enough to be man's parent and that all of them all making the same mistakes anyway happy new year stay well it's done though